Good afternoon, everyone. It's Nola. I um, went back to the thrift store. Yeah, I know. I said I wasn't going to go back, but they had a sale on, and I, well, my husband being such a sweetheart, he uh, came up with some cash for me to go, so I did, and it's good because I really wanted to get these shabby chic bundles together, and I think now I might be able to really get into that. So hopefully I will get at that this week and uh, by the end of the week be able to show you something. Anyway, I will begin to show you what I got. Now I bought a bag and the first bag was full of this trim. Isn't that beautiful? Yum. I'm so happy. I love this. And, uh, you know, there was a fair amount in the bag, so I was thrilled with that. Um, then there was another bag, and I haven't opened it yet, so I'll do that. This is going to be a fairly long one, because I took advantage, I'm afraid, of the sale. So, this was in there. Um, this, uh, what's it called? Cotton. It's cotton is what they call it on here, but anyway. Oh, then we have some fabric covered buttons, all new. Those are kind of pretty, kind of shabby, chic colors. Uh, then we have some ribbon, red ribbon, um, some, um, you know, Velcro. You know, you know that stuff. Then we have, uh, Decorative hangers. Don't have a clue what those are, but I will figure that out later. Um, some more ribbon. A zipper. Uh, some floss. Uh, some shoelaces. Everybody needs that. And some red floss. So cool. That wasn't a bad bag. And I bought it for the lace and the ribbon, so the buttons of that is just a bonus. So that's good, I'm happy with that one. Oh, just wrecked another nail. Oh well. Then I got a fabric bag, and oh, it had some fairly soft, you know, plain fabrics in it, so. There was that piece, another one of those, um, this piece, like so, that's really nice, and this is weird, but anyway, it looks almost like pattern fabric, but um, that was in there. These would make nice little bags or something, so that's probably what I will do with that. Um, this piece of fabric was also there. And this is quite heavy. And it's um, that nice beige with the gold stripes in it. So, you know, this is an upholstery fabric, but it it is nice too. I like the color. So that would be good for the back of say a wall hanging or something. And there was two of these, uh, these boxes that you buy. And uh, they're both full of threads, embroidery threads. So um, they just didn't put them on spools. They just left them like that. So um, I am getting quite a collection of embroidery threads. I really wanted the boxes. Oh, and then there was some seed beads in the center of this one as well. So um, there's those. And I will probably use these boxes for something else. And then I've piled everything up on the chair, so that's what I'm reaching for. I got a set of these curtains. And this is what they're like. I love them. Very, very sort of hippie-ish. Um, all cotton. So there was a pair of those with the tassels. So there's the two of those. Happy, happy. 
love love those um, this is a pair of pillowcases and the end has this lovely big piece of satin on it inside and out so that's a very large piece and then the fabric that this is made out of almost feels like the inside of a jacket it's strange but it's you know it's not a bad color it's sort of a, a light tawny brown sort of color so lots of fabric in those two pillowcases so very good I'm going to be throwing this all down on the floor here and then wow what a mess I'm going to have to clean up that's the way it goes okay I'll pull this down this is a dress I picked up it was fairly expensive but it, I got it for half price half the thrift price and this is the bodice of the dress here I'll wait till it settles down hopefully it zooms in isn't that pretty uh, there was more but I only got one uh, the beading goes all the way around the back um, big bow and beautiful flowers in the back um, even around the edge of the uh, ruffle there's this beading then there's more beading on the dress and more uh, lace work on or beading work on the bottom and even more so cut up into pieces this is going to be really neat so um, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with that but uh, oh. oh so that whole piece comes right off there it's like a cummerbund anyway looks like somebody made this beautifully sewn it is homemade beautifully beautifully sewn anyway so I have that to take apart so and this is um, surreal mauve uh, lighter mauve color very pretty very happy another bag of fabric that same beigey toned um, pieces of fabric I did find some doilies, and here's one. Here's another one. And there was a couple of large ones in there, like this one. But it's, it's got, it's really quite nice. It's too big to show you here, but um, somebody will be happy with that. And a pretty pink one. Put this on one end. Then it goes into the middle. And then this again on the other end all starched and everything beautifully done um, this is a pillow case there's the back of it and here's the front and this is a fairly decent sized pillowcase there's half of it so fold that oh you have double oh my arm is killing me today anyway then I have picked up this sari uh, this is the edge and it's a real teal color so very pretty um, this teal on the main part is a little bit darker than the edge, but it's a nice contrast. And there is uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot 
of fabric here. And I don't think, yeah, this edge goes around absolutely all of it. So, very pretty. Goes in my sari batch. Then I found this fabric, and it's kind of fuzzy, um, shiny a bit, very, quite thin, but, you know, very pretty. And there's, you know, a fair amount of that, too, so that'll be going into some bundles. This is a blouse that I found. Um, this blouse is an extra large, but I don't like it for me, so I'm not going to wear it. But, um... It has all, it's all this lace. And then it's got three quarter sleeves, so that's nice too. So there's a lot of fabric in that. So that one was good. Uh, this is a piece of, it feels like silk, and it's a sari. Uh, this is the edge of it here. Um, the majority of the pattern is this part here with the teal and the rest of it is this pattern and the fabric is just beautiful, nummy, really nice fabric. Happy, happy. So then, I just have to rest my arm for a minute because it hurts. There we go. Okay, I have another shirt in that pink, and it's got a cute bottom on it. So this shirt is all front and back, all that pretty pink. And this is almost a, uh, not peach, I don't know, almost like a coral color. And it's a dress, a tiny dress, size seven. And this is the bodice of it. And then this is the back. And then the whole skirt is like so. And then, of course, we have these lovely ruffles in the bottom. So more for my um, shabby chic um, bundles, extravaganza, whatever I'm coming up with. Another shirt like this. And it's just short sleeve, so just that one. Then we have another shabby shirt, and that is this one, and it is all ruffles, front and back. So that's going to be nice in there too. Whew. This is a nice piece of uh, fabric, I believe somebody made this into a tablecloth but I like the the faintness of the fabric the lightness of the color um, I think it's very very pretty so I picked that piece up as well um, I think that would be nice for shabby chic as well if you don't think so tell me but I think it is. I could be wrong. So I'm happy to get your comments. Oh, you guys aren't going to believe this. But this cut work, um, Battenberg type duvet, I found. And it is a queen size. And it still has the dry cleaning tags on it. 
beautiful absolutely gorgeous so there's this whole uh, queen size duvet cover beautiful beautiful cotton beautiful fabric another blouse that I'm not going to wear but I feel it's fits the shabby chic type thing this is the collar on it and this is the type of fabric that it is and then the bottom it's kind of like that and it's that browny taupey color too so I'll be cutting that up uh, another package of fabric just had uh, the cotton in it, so I'm happy with that. Another sorry, this is for my shabby chic folks. And this one, this is the pattern on the fabric. And it's a silky fabric. And then this is the main part of the color. Very nice. Very nice big piece of fabric for those shabby chic people. Oops. Now I have some of these. Several of them. This is the fabric. These are curtains. This is the dangle that comes on them. And I must have six of these. I've had this fabric before and uh, put it in my sari bundles. And people seem to really like it. So it's really neat with that sewing motif on it. And then uh, the um, beading is very nice because it's on on a uh, nice piece of cotton. Easy to take off. I'm not sure whether I'll take the beading off first or what I'm going to do with them. But um, Janine, you said you were interested in some of this. I know Roseanne has liked these curtains in the past very much. So I have about six, I think, of those. Stuff falling off. Okay, here's another beautiful fabric. It's uh, a white with a sort of a peachy gold color stripe in it with another white stripe and then a beautiful lace on the bottom which I will probably take the lace off and um, use it separate from the fabric. A nice purple doily. I do have some of this color and uh, I think they're very pretty. Here's another doily. There's a pretty edge on this one. This one has been starched as well. Oh, this is a blouse. Now this blouse fits me, but I don't think I'll use it. I think I will cut it up. But um, this is the main part of the blouse. You'd have to wear something underneath. Here's the sleeve. And then this is the bottom. Isn't that pretty? I'm tickled pink with that one. I love it. Of course, I love everything. That's why I picked it up. But anyway. Um, these are placemats. And I have... I believe there's one... Two, there's four. Four of these placemats. So, very pretty. Very lacy. Another doily. Another one, a round one. Another one. 
these are the ones I usually use this size to wrap um, around my sari bundles. Um, this is another short curtain. Um, this is the, oh, let's see, let's get a single piece here. This is what the Jippo end looks like. So there's, you know, quite a bit of that. There was only one curtain. A very teal. Very well done. Very pretty uh, doily. Whoever's putting these doilies in, I think makes them for something to do and never uses them because they've never had anything, never been washed or had anything put on them. And then there's a pair of this one. Yeah, so there's, there's two of that. And this is another sort of a square doily. It would be great for a pillow. Here's the other curtain that goes with the other one. See this lace on the end? I just adore this lace. Love that. Okay, here's another um, curtain. And this one has big roses on it. And Lily of the Valley. And it has this lovely edge on it as well. And then it has the, the little trim over the top piece. Again, so you've got that trim on the top and then again on the bottom of it. So that's a nice substantial curtain. Um, these are two um, pillowcases with this lace around and these are large peach pillowcases two of those and then uh, there's one of these and this is the pillowcase and then this is the trim very nice Oh, I fibbed. There's another one. So there's two, two of those. And this is another pillowcase. There was a bedspread for this, but I did not buy the bedspread. So I just had enough. So this is the pillowcase. And this lovely pleated, box pleated trim is all around the edge. And then there's this in the center. And then, of course, all of this beautiful satin fabric as well. And the same thing in this yellow. So that was very pretty, very, very pretty as well. Um... This is a table runner, and this is that pretty mint green. Love that color as well. So it is brand new as well. It's never been unfolded or used on anything. Um, here's another little tea cloth, and this is the pattern that's on it on the four corners. And then this is yet another curtain. And this is the lace. And this is a, yeah, that's a fairly big curtain. It says it is, it doesn't say, it just says a curtain. 
So, you know, there's a fair amount of that too. And then last but not least, if you could see this, this is a um, bedspread, all in that quilted, um, I don't know what that is, kind of a satin and then lots of lace around the edge and then of course this this would be your edge as well so there's lots of peach that light peach shabby peach color with that and this would be great for the background of something just cut this into squares so that is it i'm pretty sure that's it that will be my last little oopsie for a while and like i said i really didn't intend on going again but they had the sale i hadn't been for a couple of weeks and i needed to get out and i was having problems with this shabby chic thing a little bit so i wanted to get out and see if i could find some things and let me know what you think of uh, some of the stuff that bedspread, for instance, would be cut up into squares and all of that lace that goes around it. Um, so anyway, I hope to get those together sometime this week. And other than that, it's not hot here anymore. It's raining, just raining, raining, raining cats and dogs out there. So um, not much happening. We just had companies, so uh, they're gone, so you know it's amazing how you don't get anything done when people stop by. But uh, at any rate, I'm having a good day today, and uh, I have had a couple of days where I didn't do anything, and uh, it makes a huge difference. So if I spent two or three days doing absolutely nothing, I would have one or two days where I could do a lot, and then I would have to repeat that again. So this is why I don't pump out the crafts constantly and lately I've been just trying to organize all these things I've picked up but they will be up for sale because I do have to pay back for what I've spent this time right away so um, I will be offering these bundles up shortly and I do have two sorry bundles that are sitting there ready to go if anybody's interested they are $15 each and you pay the shipping Anywho, I will be back with these uh, shabby chic bundles when I get it together, hopefully in the next couple of days. So thank you all for watching, and thank you all my new subbies. My goodness, um, you guys are amazing. And, uh, and all of you guys that just watch oopsie after oopsie after oopsie that I do, thank you so much. And those of you that have ordered from me, you have no idea how wonderful that is and how it has freed me up to do more thrifting and therefore crafting so um, I'm afraid we I just couldn't do it without selling some of the um, bundles that I that I sell here and there it makes it available for me to keep on crafting so thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart you folks I uh, truly truly appreciate it and, uh, and those ladies who buy from me every month, thank you. You guys are just a godsend. So, at any rate, thank you all. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the oopsie. Talk to you later. Bye now.